Guess where we are today? G'day budgies and widgies and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here at Nautilus Aquarium Supplies. It's an aquarium store I've wanted to visit for quite a fair while and Scott Hames, the owner of this place, was really really kind in welcoming me to come and film in here. So the road is really loud and I think it's about time that we go inside and I show you this amazing aquarium store. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so when we first walk into the store, you'll see that on the right hand side there are some really amazing gloss cabinet tanks. Here we can see some of your typical sort of good old wood pine cabinet tanks and they'd be great for breeding or just setting up multiple aquariums and things like that. But if you're looking for smaller sort of desktop size aquariums, this place has an amazing range. We also see a whole bunch of aquarium plants, everything from your bare basics such as Anubias. Um, we've also got some stem plants here and things like that. But then there are also some potted creations as well as some larger plants such as driftwood creations that you can instantly just put into your aquarium. Here we'll see that on this side is a whole bunch of cold water fish and here we've got a whole range of African cichlids and I'm going to show you them in a lot more closer detail. So on the cold water section of course we have to have goldfish but you'll also notice some amazing species such as giant danios which I really really love. There are also different sizes of goldfish being small goldfish, big ones, and these guys really, really wanted me to set up a pond. So if you want to see something like that, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. But we also have a whole bunch of other species as well. You'll see that there are also some fancy goldfish like this beautiful Ryukin here, which is just a really amazing looking fish. But now we move into one of my more favorite type of fish, which is a native Australians. We've got a flathead gudgeon here, which I've never seen before. And in this aquarium, we also saw that amazing barramundi. And there were some archer fish in here as well. We also have a really cute little axolotl, something that I've wanted for a really long time. In this aquarium, this is more so your typical community mix. And I just want to show you the size of these platies. They were huge, but now we move into the Africans. We've got some calvus, some polystigma. I believe those are AC cichlids or acai. Oh, I don't know the name, but if you know, then let me know in the comment section down below. In here, we've got some Neolampra longus of some sort, some more calvus, which are just a really cool sort of barramundi looking fish. And in here, I believe there are some red empress, some normal dolphins and albino dolphins, which really, really stood out and um, just really making me fall in love with the African cichlids. I'm not hinting anything, but maybe we might have some African cichlids coming very soon onto the channel, but just a really amazing range being Brashadi, Calvis, Neolampra longus species, shell dwellers, just a whole mix. And now we move into some of the more South Americans. We've got some Aliotti cichlids, but then we also have some red jewel cichlids, which are an amazing African cichlid specimen. This was one of my most favorite tanks at the store. We've got some Waru, some Bandit Guyanacara cichlids, I believe. Um, they just look absolutely amazing. We've got some fire mouths in there. And we also have a few Geophagus tapahos or redhead Geophagus. So always amazing to see them. We also have a really great range of sort of community aquarium fish. We saw some Odessa barbs. Now we can see some silver sharks and torpedo barbs, which are one of my most favorite fish species, as you guys will know on the channel. Just a really amazing uh, range of community fish. We also have some golden wonder killifish or gold panchaks. And just a really great assortment of different tetras. And there's always something here that you can pick up for your community aquarium. And that albino crubensis was an absolutely stunning fish. We've got some, uh, I believe those are dwarf garamis. And the black neon tetra, which is a fish I've actually wanted for quite a fair while. But just haven't bitten the bullet on getting them and don't really have uh, you know, a suitable aquarium, but definitely a really amazing species. And we also have a really great range of Garamis, Congo Tetras, and these guys here are the Gardeneri killifish, which 
are just like a firework loaded into a fish. Look at the size of this Midas cichlid. It was awesome to see this specimen in Australia. And this has got to be the biggest red Oscar I have ever seen in my entire life. This guy was bigger than my entire hand and was just an absolutely amazing fish. Now, this fish may disgust a lot of viewers, but this is what you would call the native Australian Tandanus or eel tail catfish. I absolutely love them. And we also have a big beast of a dovi in this aquarium. Just also another fish I've wanted to own. And we also have the discus. You guys will know that I love these discus. And there are just amazing sizes and colors as well. There were also big and small discus, so you can pick one up for your aquarium. Overall, Nautilus Aquarium has an amazing range of woods for your aquarium. We've got some Malaysian bogwood here, but there was also spiderwood, giant pieces of driftwood, something that's perfectly suited for your aquarium, like this huge piece that we just see here. This is your gold vine or spiderwood, and this is something that would be great for some African cichlid tanks or just to get some uh, sort of inert rock for saltwater aquariums. Those are some dry corals, so you could definitely come up with a really unique aquascape. And then we see some more aquariums. Now, Nautilus Aquariums and Pet Supplies, as the name suggests, also carry supplies for pets. And here we can see really amazing guinea pig and rabbit enclosures. There's also a bunch of reptile supplies, hay, different feeds, reptile enclosures, and a whole bunch of stuff. We can see a whole range of substrates here of different colors, shapes, sizes, and textures. So you can really create some amazing aquascapes, but um, like I said earlier, with the reptile supplies, there are turtle docks, heat lamps, food, conditioners, and just a whole range for both your finned friends and scaled friends. But it was just amazing to see the range of different products here and was really wanting me to get into the whole reptile keeping side, but um, that is something that I really want to get into. And if I was to gonna get my supplies, it would definitely be from Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies. We can see here that there's a whole range of frozen food and you'll see the jumbo mice up there, but just a great range, which I keep saying because it is really amazing to see. These were the two store sort of mascots or pets. Um, we have a budgeriga and a cockatiel. And you can see they have really adorable names called Stormy and Twister. And I was just having a bit of fun trying to play with them. But just amazing birds. And if you guys don't know, I'm also a big bird fan. So to see these guys was just a, a real heart warmer. And I definitely do want to get some birds, more birds of my own. But... We're just panning through a lot more of the hardscape and, and I'm really just exploring the store but also making sure that I document everything for you guys so when you decide to make your trip there, which I highly recommend that you do, you know exactly what's in, well, store for you when you go and visit because um, I think it's really great to document all of our amazing local aquarium stores and Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies has got to be one of the most extensive stores that I've seen in the range of products that they stock. But now we move into some of the stuff that I'm quite interested in, like the aquascaping rocks and products. And some of these pieces I've never actually seen anywhere before. And you notice when I spot this, I go instantly to it. And this is the Gobi Desert Rock. And I basically just wanted to buy this entire box because this rock looked amazing. It was only $8 a kilo, but oh, oh, now we move into probably the best fish that I saw at the shop. This is a breeding pair of Polenai cichlids. If you're unaware, these guys are actually a Madagascan cichlid and to see the colors on these guys was absolutely phenomenal, but I was spending a good 20 to 30 minutes just sitting here watching them. And now I just want to take you through a quick walk around of the store just so you can kind of get an idea of the map, the way this store is situated. But um, this is something that I feel like every store tour should include, just a walk through of the store to see um, just the way the store map is kind of. But um, I just want you guys to enjoy, have a bit of a look around for yourself 
And um, yeah, I really, really did fall in love with this aquarium store. It is about an hour and a half away from me. Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies, but just a really amazing place. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this. And there is something that I tease you very quickly, and they are the Aquapix products. I'm going to have a massive review series coming very soon of their... Alrighty, bodgies and widgies. I really hope you enjoyed that tour of Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies. I've picked up a whole bunch of amazing products, Aquapic products, that I'm going to be making some reviews and things like that on. So if you want to see them, then make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Bodgy from Australia. And as always, stay happy, stay safe. I hate doing this one-handed. Stay Australian. Bodgy, out. Yeah.